Did you know that along with the catch and the luxurious sea lord we had a third weapon in this fish weapon series. However, it is a weapon so mediocre it was immediately forgotten by the fandom. Ladies and gentlemen, today I will tell you a short story of the end of the line and its quick fall into irrelevancy. When we look back at the 3.0 update, we were given tons of content to experience. We had the new Sumeru region to explore, new characters, new quests, primer gems to get, and a whole new element to experiment with. And with all this content, there was a free bow to obtain. The end of the line. It was no surprise that this bow would be instantly forgotten with the amount of things to do. And with Hoyoverse adding more content like newer characters and a card game in later updates, it only further buried this weapon into irrelevance. Another reason is that you had to go fishing for this bow. Many people only did fishing to get the catch and uh, certainly would not want to do it again. And unlike the catch that was made for characters like Raiden and Shang Ling, the end of the line doesn't really have any character that it fits well with. The final nail in the coffin is the bow itself. The weapon at level 90 has a 510 base attack and 45% energy recharge. This is lower than the sacrificial bow with 564 base attack and 30% energy recharge, but it's higher than the Pharaonius bow with 454 base attack and 61% energy recharge. The issue here actually is that the passive for both these weapons is much better. Pharaonius bow gives you energy particles and the sacrificial bow allows a character to use their elemental skill a second time. In comparison to these two passives, the end of the line has a rather useless one. At refinement rank 5, triggers the flow rider effect after using an elemental skill, dealing 160% attack as AoE damage upon hitting an opponent with an attack. Flowrider will be removed after 15 seconds or after causing 3 instances of AoE damage. Only one instance of AoE damage can be caused every 2 seconds in this way. Flowrider can be triggered once every 12 seconds. This not only sounds boring but is a boring passive, making this weapon nothing more than just a bow with energy recharge. It can be used on certain characters, yes. But when you have two other bows that offer much more, this weapon immediately falls short. And this is the short story of a bow that no one really cares about. Thank you for watching and consider liking and subscribing to the channel for more Genshin related content. Take care and goodbye.